like to do a review about a product I don't normally review, and it's the Nubuck Suede Renovator. This is a spray for black. Well, this one is in black. You can get in brown, other colors. I got this Tarago, Tarago, I don't know how to pronounce it. The Tarago, Tarago Nubuck Suede Renovator. This is in black. This is to make your suede or new buck boots or whatever that are getting scuffed that are losing their color it's sort of like a polish instead of a cream you would spray it on new buck because when you're a new buck or suede you want to make sure that you have a spray as opposed to a cream a cream for example mink oil is not recommended for you to put on a pair of suede or new buck uh well let's talk about new buck okay let's first talk about this is my Timberland New Buck boots. Okay, N New Buck leather. New Buck leather is a sort of a finished smooth leather, not like your regular leather. It's the inside of the hide of the animal that's sanded down and smooth. It's a better quality leather than suede. Now, the problem with New Buck is when it comes to treating it, people will want to put like a mink oil or a cream on it. The problem when you do that and you put a mink oil or a cream, you end up causing the uh, the shoe to darken, but more importantly, you may give it a shiny look. It loses, loses its uh, suede new buck feel, the new buck. Sorry, I keep switching. So if you have a Timberland boots or a Blundstone boot, the classic Timberland, yellowish, whatever color it is, uh, or, the, um, or the popular uh, rustic brown or rustic black, Blundstones, those are new buck leather boots, and you don't want to put a cream on them, you want to put a spray. With that being said, I bought this New Buck Black Spray Renovator. Why? Because this rustic black uh, boot um, isn't so much lighter than it was when I bought it, but I never was 100% okay with the color. I wanted it to be more black than gray. So I bought, I bought this to make it more black. I'm gonna use this on my pair of Blundstones to give them another, to give it a, uh, a blacker look to them. For you use your new buck uh, renovator spray, you want to make sure your boots are clean. Now, one of the easiest ways to clean your Blundstones, rustic black, rustic brown, Blundstones boots is with a shoe brush and water. It'll actually do a great job. If you want, you could use a little bit of uh, saddle soap or, or baby shampoo or something like that to give it a nice clean. Anyway, this is mostly uh, uh, clean. And we're going to experiment. We are going to experiment with the spray. And I want to see how much blacker this will make it. Okay, and we're going to compare the two pairs of boots. So let's do it. Okay, we got the two boots here. Uh, we're going to give them a little scrub through. We're going to start with only spraying one. And we are going to take a look at how dark or black this boot will get from our treatment of the spray. So we scrub clean, we shake it, and then we spray it about eight to 20, eight inches, 20 centimeters, and wait 30 minutes, and then we spray it again. While it's coloring and waterproofing power, it revives the color in any suede and nubuck footwear garment by protecting it against moisture. I'm ruining my boots by doing this. How does that look? Actually, I think that looks better. My only thing is, is it just looks dark because it's wet or, or because of the actual color? Oh man, I'm making the ground black. All right. Okay, here you can clearly see the difference in color with the same exact lighting. So it doesn't really make a difference what we have for lighting here. Very clear. With the picture, you don't get the same effect. But here, look at that. Now let's paint the other ones.
All right, I'm done. I sprayed my boots and I have to say that I'm actually very impressed with this. You can see the results in the picture, how the boot looked before and how it looked after. And I even combined the photos together so you can see them side by side and so on. I even took a video, as you can see here, of me standing with the boots, wearing the boots uh, with one sprayed and one not sprayed. So you could see the difference of the two boots together and how they look in the same lighting because when you take a picture, you don't get that effect. One of the things I find amazing about, about uh, the spray is that with the rustic black, you have sections of the boot that is lighter and darker than other sections. So when you spray it, the darker section stays darker and the lighter section stays lighter so you still have that rustic look. And I'm just gonna take off my boot here as you can see. This is the sprayed and it was sprayed evenly, but it has the, um, the, the, the um, it doesn't look all black. You got that rustic look to it. Um, take off my other one as well. Look at both of them. Now I'm a lot shorter now, <laughs> but um, there you go. You can see you still have that rustic look. Here it's lighter, uh, here it's darker, uh, lighter, and so on. For me, you know, if you ask me, I actually like it looking a little bit more darker and because of the color, I think it's better when you wear it with uh, navy pants than when you wear it black, because when you're wearing it with black, it's sort of like you're wearing gray shoes with black pants. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I find it looks really nice with navy, so I prefer to wear it with my navy. After this video, I'm gonna come back and we'll see what the boots look like in about six, seven, eight, ten, whatever months from now, and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so here I am, and uh, what you've seen before up until now was me testing the boot. I say with about, let's say 11 months since I sprayed these boots and I haven't sprayed them since. And you could see uh, that 11 months have passed. Let me show you both pairs. And you can clearly see that the boots are darker uh, than they were when I first, uh, when before I sprayed them. So about 11 months later, they still have a little bit of darkness to them. I'm actually okay with the darkness now. If I wanted to, I could, of course, uh, spray some more. I, I might actually spray them, but you know what? Once, every, once a year, one, twice a year is fine. What's cool about the spray is that not, not only that it, not only does it make the boot darker, but it also waterproofs it with its coloring and waterproofing power. It could be also used for um, even hats. So as you can see, this one is really faded. I think it used to be navy blue. I'm not sure, but I do have a hat like this that was black and it fades over time. And you could, it's designed for also clothes. I think it's great. I like it. I like it that I could darken my, my, uh, my blunt stones. I can make them darker than the original rustic black. Give that more of a darker color, which is what I wanted originally. I like it that I could use it to darken my uh, hats as well. Anyway, I'll leave a link below for, for this product. And if you want to support me and support my awesome, awesome videos because you love them so much, you will only go to Amazon through my links and buy products through my link below. I do get a commission for Amazon if you purchase. It doesn't affect your prime. It doesn't affect anything that you do on your end. It just because I sent you to Amazon, then I get a commission on the product. Who knows, a can of spray like this could make all the difference and more clicks and more purchases helps to support my videos. And if you really want more awesome product reviews, then, then you would go to Amazon and buy the products from my link below. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe and uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that this is actually good also for um, if you have gray hair. So let's check this out. Just kidding. That was my sound effect. Look at that. I used to have gray hair. Now I have black hair. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>